following program is brought to you in living color. The impact television has had on the American people and culture is undeniable. TV is everything from teacher to travel agent and responsible for everything from phases to phrases. It's in homes, schools, and businesses. In fact, TV is everywhere. The early TVs were black and white, and in the beginning, it seemed a bit like radio, with pictures. But those early televised events gave us our first glimpses into the world outside our neighborhoods. In 1939, the opening of the New York World's Fair was televised. Then in May of that year, the first baseball game was shown on TV. There was one camera and one angle, but for many, this was their first chance to see a game without leaving home. World War II slowed the production of TVs, so it was not until the 1940s that full-scale broadcasting began. By the late 1940s and early 1950s, Americans were gathering around their television sets to watch programs like Howdy Doody and westerns like The Lone Ranger. But TV was not just for entertainment. It was also how many began to see and not just read or hear about the news. This period marked the early beginnings of shows Americans continue to watch, like Today and The Tonight Show. The period from the mid-50s through the early 1960s was known as the Golden Age of Television. It gave us shows frequently seen as the early beginnings of television comedies, like I Love Lucy and The Honeymooners. The 1960 election of President Kennedy demonstrated just how important television had become. This was the first real time American voters watched the candidates and factored in such things as physical appearance for their vote. The television also became a focal point for most American households that in the days after Kennedy's assassination. Most watched the television coverage of his funeral with an odd sense of fascination and sadness. News was a critical aspect of television, and by the end of the 1960s, the war in Vietnam dominated news coverage. It gave most Americans their first look at the fighting. So many people were so upset with what they saw every day, they began to resent the war, and they protested. Those protests then became another part of the war coverage on TV. In the mid-60s, our world got a lot more colorful. Color TVs became more affordable and therefore more popular. By the next decade, situation comedies dominated the airwaves. When All in the Family went on the air in 1971, it symbolized a daring attempt to break through the barriers seen as traditional and wholesome programming. The introduction of cable marked a major change in the world of television. Before cable, most households just had a few channels to watch. But even the earliest of cable programming provided new choices. Early stations like Home Box Office, The Superstation, C-SPAN, and ESPN led the way. Many of these channels were able to provide a singular type of programming, like sports, movies, or children's shows. Ladies and gentlemen, rock and roll. In the summer of 1981, MTV signed on. Its original purpose was to play music videos. The network had a profound moral influence on young people and stirred up debates on issues like censorship. MTV flaunted images of barely dressed singers and suggestive poses, leaving little to the imagination. To understand the dramatic power of TV, look no further than the Jersey Shore. Nicknames like Snooky and Wow are everywhere. Groups of friends all over the country use nicknames like these now, many in unflattering ways. If the often unrealistic ways of reality TV aren't enough to illustrate the power of television in our lives, then the true reality probably is. In 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded just after takeoff, and millions watched this event live. The shuttle was carrying a teacher from New Hampshire, and therefore many teachers across the country showed what, it wa what was to be a historic mission in their classrooms. Parents, who might have otherwise explained this tragedy at home, instead had to explain what their children saw as they watched this during school. On September 11, 2001, a commercial plane flew into one of the World Trade Center towers. The networks were on the air with their morning programs, and all of them cut over to live coverage. And while viewers looked on, a second plane hit a second tower, and we literally watched as thousands of people lost their lives. This was a critical moment in live news coverage. The images from that day have been shown again and again, and they're hard to watch, even more than a decade later. Television has a dramatic impact on the American society. It has helped change not only the way we see things literally, but also how we view things in a figurative sense. Television is like a mirror. We look at the screen and watch a reflection of life. From its early beginnings with comedy and music to the reality TV that we watch today, there's little doubt we could find someone who does not watch. Whatever your viewpoint, it would be hard to argue the impact television has had on society and its role as a focal point for our culture.